Hello everyone, welcome back to the Japan's Hungry Channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, chart for August 30th. I am Aubrey and t today we are going to... Alright, so first of all, um, we'll get to see that Barbie is almost at $600 million for the United States, Canada, and all of the other American territories. Um... Gran Turismo is still going strong with a million dollars, and since um, the 31st data still hasn't released, um, it will probably do the same amount as well. Meanwhile, we get to go down, and you know, Oppenheimer's back in the top three, and number five is TMN2, which is still getting a considerable amount of money. Meg 2 just reached $75 million. And Retribution is, you know, all of the other um, ones didn't really do that well. Like Retribution, The Hill, and Golda are not doing that well at all. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning is still going okay. And since, and since today is a Friday, that means that it is going to be doing really, really well on the 31st and the 32nd. We may actually see it reach 170 million. Um, go down here, and Jurassic Park is still doing all right. Um, Last Voyage of the Mentor continually goes downhill. I don't really think that it's going to do anything much longer, as it's kind of not doing well anymore. The Little Mermaid is almost at $300 million. However, I do not believe it will reach it. As it has been out in the theaters for almost 100 days. And it's gaining only $53,000 uh, every weekday. So I don't really think that it's going to reach it. It doesn't... It does matter if they do, like, expand the theaters. Which I heard that they kind of are. Um, we go down here, and yeah, Insidious Red Door kind of already slipped. We go to the domestic, also, just because Insidious slipped does not mean that is bad. It, in fact, Insidious already made, like, um, $50 million off of this movie. We go over here, and yep. Uh, the top five is still the same. We go down to the top ten is still the same. And let's go all the way down to the top 20. Um, TMN2 is on path to reach the top 16. It might be The Flash and Scream 6, I believe. Um, by... Um, September something, by September, wait, no, 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 by October then, um, yeah, the Meg 2 on track to reach Insidious, the Red Door, is it's not really gaining any much, uh, meanwhile, we go down here, Haunted Mansion still stuck at 62 million and stuck at 26, we go down here even more, and Blue Beat, we get to see Blue Beetle at number 31, which is gaining less than a million da dollars now. However, this weekend, it will probably reach the top 30. I'm not sure about the top 25, as it is a massive ways away, though. We go down here even more, and we get to see Strays is um, up on its way to reach number 43. About, um, However, this will take a little bit of time. Oh yeah, and Gran Turismo is over here. It will probably take a couple more days before it reaches the top 40. Um, go down here, and Retribution is at number 73. It has reached the top 75. It will probably, and I say probably because we don't know if it is going to slip or not, reach the top, reach the top 71. Um... It will probably pass You Hurt My Feelings tomorrow. However, the data hasn't been released. Um, we go down here. Yeah, Theater Camp is still 
um, doing okay, I guess. And The Hill just passed the Oscars. And it probably will reach number 85 tomorrow. Um, meanwhile, Golda, um, is probably going to stay here for, like, two more days until the weekend hits. And, oh no, for it's probably going to stay here until Friday, which is when all the movies gain a massive amount of money. And then we go down here and, yeah, I don't really think that Jules is going to stay on the top 100 soon. Since there are two new movies that are coming out on September 1st, that is today. And Jules is at number 99, and I am not sure if it will reach number 98 fast enough. And what are those movies, you might ask? Well, recently we got a new movie that was going to release on September 1st. And by release, I mean by get re-released. Um, but with a lot more theaters, MGM's Bottoms has reached 673,000, which is not good. However, it is going to be expanding, which means that it probably will reach the $100 million mark. I, I mean the $1 million mark, I'm sorry. And The Equalizer 3, which is very, very um, hyped because everybody loved The Equalizer, along with a bunch of limited release. All Fun and Games, Astrakhan, Beaten to Death, uh, Trisha Sing, Ernest and Celestine, A Trip to... I don't know how to pronounce that. Escalation, Yenapai, um, Goldfish, God's Heart, The Good Mothers, King of Pillars, Lucky Man, Marisol, The Mountain, Mr. Jimmy, Mutiny in Heaven, The Birthday Party. Alright, so that's probably a sequel. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that name and the talking mongoose. Never Give Up, Orca, Perpetrator, The Road Dog. I don't know how to pronounce this either. Or this Trauma Therapy, Psychosis, What Doesn't Float, and Zombie Town. Mean, and in two days from now, we're going to be getting another special engagement for They Live. And then, um, in a week from now, exactly a week from now, my Big Fat Greek Writing 3 and The Nun 2 will be released along with a bunch of other movies. So, yep, that is all for August 29th.